What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skaima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. In this tour review, we're gonna look at the Diamond Select Avatar, the last Airbender action figure. Tough. The package of this figure is very great. You can see the figure inside with all the accessories that she comes with. There's the name of the animation, and there's the name of the character, and Nickel Nordian right there in the corner. And we also get it in both sides of the package, longer than the name of the show. You guys can see, and also in the back side. And we get a picture of the bold figures, and there's two more in the set that you guys can collect. Okay, there's nothing in the top side or on the bottom. So enough chatting, let's take her out. And before I start this review, if you guys want to pick her up, you can pick her up right now at Big Bad Toy Store. So please, guys, check out that website right now. And here's the figure out of her box. And I think I just got amazed because this figure came out so good. And we get some nice clean paints on this figure. And this is why I like about Diamond Select because they are making characters that they never made into figures before. And this is the first time ever that we get a tough figure. And she looks very cute. And also, she's one of the funniest characters in the series. Okay, now let's get on with the accessories that this girl comes with. Just like Ozai. We get a sack scene stand here. There's not a lot to talk about. We only get this peg right there. And there's like a hole so you can attach on the stand here. And she comes with this nice effect. And this piece came out so good. I love the light color they use. It also has a little bit of dark color around the top. And it's all sculpted very hard and very good. Man, this is so good. And we get some nice detail right here in this side. And also on the bottom side. And she comes with this championship belt just like in the show. And this piece came out very good. I love the color that this piece has. Like right here in the middle we get some nice gold color. And it's all sculpted and a little bit of dark colored green in the middle. And also here in the tail more gold color and it's all sculpted. And also in the buttons and around the buttons we get a little bit of dark colored brown and also in the back side and this little girl we get one pair of changeable effect hands and these they look very good I love the color I love the work but each one they look kind of different because the right hand you can see the stones are much bigger and much harder but I can feel all that nice sculpt and also here in the bottom and you can see her hand right there attach on the rock but this one only had smaller stones but either way they look very good like I mentioned I love the work and the color and you can see her hand is attached on the stone right here in the middle and you can see more unique detail right here in this side and also in the bottom and this figure comes with three pairs of hands. I'm going to show you each one from each pair around. So I'm going to start out with the flat hand. And each hand, they look kind of small. But they do have a little bit of sculpting right there. Like this one in the front. And a little bit in the back. Like all the fingers attached together. And all the hands has a little bit of light colored green right here on the back side but not in the front only here in the bottom of the wrist and she comes with one open hand or grabbing hand I don't know what hand is this but all the fingers are separate and I think you can see a little bit of her fingernails I'm not sure but the thumb came out very good and the front side of the hand has at least a little bit of detail and more sculpting here where is the green color part is and she comes with one not one but she comes with one pair of fist hands and the fist hands they look very great because I can see the knuckles the work and the side and all the fingers close together longer with the thumb and we see more green color right there in the back and a little bit in the front okay now Let's get back with the figure. 
and here's tough again if my little bro said that he wants to keep this figure because he really like it well i also like it too because we never got a figure out of this character and she looks so good and well i have not single complaint on this figure so if he wants it he can have it okay let's start off with her head sculpt i think they made her head kind of big and it looks funny but she has some unique detail on her front side of her face like her hair here and all that part is all sculpted but i think it's also brushed down because i can feel some brushing but i do love the black color they use for her hair you can see her lips you can see her chin both chin and her lips are sculpted and her nose came out okay and we get a little bit of blank color on each eye after all she is blind and you can see her eyebrows right there on her forehead but they're not sculpted just the hair and the face and i like the add this detail on the top of her head it has some nice colors like this green yellow in both sides of her head we get this white detail and sculpted very soft and you can see her ears in both sides of her head and we get more sculpting around here but her back hair feels kind of smooth like she feels like a rock here only in this part and i can feel like more sculpting only here in the middle i don't know the name of the clothes that she has right here on her torso but i like the white color and you can see it has like wrinkles all around and a little bit sculpting here in this side and also around her neck and it has a little bit of light colored green inside and there's the pegs you can attach it the stand right there and we get a line on the middle more sculpting behind her neck and more wrinkles and her waist we get a little bit of dark color green and a little bit of gold color all around the waist including the back and we get more wrinkles here in this part and also in this part as well oh and you can move the pieces of her hair like here and also here and that's pretty much it on her sleeves we get a bunch of nice clean color green and a bunch of sculpting like in the front side in the back side and also in the side in each one and more in the inside where her arms are and we get more dark colored green right there on the wrist in each one and each one has a little bit of gold color that's pretty nice and on her pants or on her legs we get more wrinkles all around and we get more nice colored green and bow back in front. Oh, and there's more dark colored green on her foot around the ankles and more little bit of gold color all around. And the light colored green that she has in each foot is all sculpted and also all her little toes. It looks like she has baby feet, don't you think? But either way, it has some unique work and there's nothing in the bottom in each one i like the color of her skin and around her arms we get a little bit of muscles well after all she is an earthbender okay now let's get on with her articulation you can move her head side to side a complete rotation she doesn't look down or up just straight and she has a ball joint and she has some waist articulation, but you cannot bend it back and forth. You only can swivel it. You can open her arms this much. A rotation, I believe. Just a little bit. We don't get any double jointing around the elbow, but you can move it. And we get some wrist articulation, like swivel and a little bit bibbit. And you can move this part and also in the back. You can open her legs this much, kick a little bit in the front and also in the back, but we do get some double joint around her knee. Leg rotation, no rotation in this part, 
but we do get some ankle articulation. Comparing size, but first let's see how tall this figure stands. She stands just exactly five inches tall. Here she is with my Mega Man figure, and you can see that tough. She's taller than Mega Man. And here she is with my Kingdom Hearts Sora, and you can see that Sora, he's much taller than tough. And here she is with my Fairy Marvel Celeste Thanos. And there you have it, guys. I think Diamond Celeste they put more work on this figure than Ozai because Ozai doesn't have no waist articulation, but she does. And we get some unique clean paint apps on her clothes and especially some detail on her head. I know it came out kind of big and funny, but I like it. And I'm very proud that we got a tough figure because they never been a figure out of this character before until now. Okay, guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel because I'm almost to 800 subscribers. So please, guys, subscribe right now. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And i catch you guys on the next video. So take care, be safe. Keep on hunting, keep on collecting. This is CN Sukaima and Tuff, and we're out in line.